Talking Heads is a 1980 short documentary film made by Krzysztof Kieślowski. It is considered one of the masterpieces of world cinema. It was placed on a list of best documentary films by British Film Institute and it's taught in film schools around the world. Why? It's a very simple film. It's deceptively simple. All we see are interviews with people, are literally talking heads. Uh, of people who are answering questions that Kieślowski himself poses at the very beginning of the film. How old are you? Who are you? What would you like? And these are the only questions that we hear and these are the only answers that we get. As the movie proceeds, we get characters that are gradually older. We actually start with an infant who is not even capable of answering the question and we end up with a 100-year-old woman who is incapable of hearing the question, although the answers that she gives is probably the best in the movie. What you will see on the screen are faces but are also dates of birth, so you can almost see the succession of faces as one human life unfolding in front of you. And this has something to do with the technique that Kishlovsky used in Seven Women of Different Ages, a film that he made two years prior to this one, in which seven women were representing the whole human life. Here we have about 40 people who all speak to the camera and they share their fears, share their visions of themselves, but what's truly remarkable about the film and what makes it a masterpiece of editing as well is that those short snippets of conversation, sometimes as short as three seconds or four seconds, actually are windows into those people's souls. You really feel like you met them after you have watched the film. You really feel like you know them, like you just heard the most important thing about them. And that took real act of empathy and imagination on the part of Kieślowski. There is also a very important political aspect to the film. The year 1980 was the year of solidarity and there is one recurring theme in the conversation and that is democracy. Many people are mentioning democracy, many people are mentioning their unhappiness with the current state of, state of affairs in Poland and they say that the citizens should have more of a say and that freedom and liberty are the most important values. In 1980 this was a very strong political statement. What Kieślowski was suggesting with this film, apart from its timeless dimension, was this. Polish society is ready to govern itself. Polish society is in full accord with solidarity movement. This hope will be shattered one year later as martial law will be introduced in December 1981. But here you can feel it in full bloom. And what Kieślowski is showing you is Polish society as it's ready for change. As it happened, the change arrived one decade later than everybody expected in 1989, but it's here and it's there to see the hope, the promise and the political vision of a society that's governed by its citizens. It's all here in the film Talking Heads.